What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another player review. Today we're taking a look at the epic Coppa Italia legends, the Coppa e Football Italia legends tying in with the Italian league focus this week. And for this week's players, we do have some fairly beastly Italian league players such as Cafu, Cannavaro, Inzaghi and Ambrosini who looks a monster as well. Now, um, I will be doing training guides on these as usual lads, so let me know which players you want to see, right, I probably will do Cafu and Cannavaro first, in Zaggy I've covered a lot before but I might do it because there is, there is a couple of key tips with this, uh, with this card if you don't have Inzaghi and I'll tell you a little bit about that in the review, right, but these players are in the limited draw box of 150, so these are all in with all the rest of the players here, you've got 150 players in the box and you can spin and it's random who you get, right, so... We're going to kick off with Cafu, who is one of the picks of the pack. We've got him as a right back. He can also play right mid. I mean, this guy's a monster, man. I would love to get Cafu. Fighting spirit, man marking. He doesn't have any real dribbling um, or passing stats apart from way to pass and pinpoint crossing. But like other than that, you have everything that you could possibly want for his uh, ability on the ball, including the, the stats that are going to be key. I mean, early crosser and pinpoint crossing... If you play a lot of wing play and a lot of, you know, balls into the box from crosses or in swingers or out swingers, huge. I mean, absolutely huge. You pair that with stunning crosses and you also pair it with the fact that he's got weighted pass. And this guy is lethal if you've got a good target man in the box. And again, then when we train him up, we are going to go over to eFootball DB and take a look at his card. So he goes 34 levels. Uh, we've pumped four into passing in dribbling. And aerial strength, and then 8 into dexterity, 12 into lower body, because we want him to have as high stamina as possible. Now, I would probably leave a little room for the stamina, so you could max that out at 8 if you wanted just to have his stamina at like 98, and then get the boost yourself when his player form arrow is there, and then you can decide where else to put it. I mean, you can pump it into defending if you want to get 3 more into defending, or you could put 4 more into acceleration. I would potentially probably get it into... Um, defending if you were playing him very defensively and if not we will do a training guide on that you could pump it into dribbling and have him as a really good right back but you aren't going to get the, the 96 overall because of that uh because of that you don't want the stamina you know be maxed out at 99 there's no point but we will do a training guide on him but yeah he definitely looks to be one of the picks of the pack we've also got Cannavaro right so Cannavaro is a very interesting one because even though he's small right he's one of the smaller center backs in the game he has got insane stats, right? And what I mean about insane stats is when you are looking at center backs, right? You have to have blocker, you have to have interception, or you have to have both of those, right? He doesn't have interception, but he does have blocker. He has unwavering form. He's got man marking, captaincy, fighting spirit, sliding tackle, and acrobatic clearance. So this guy's AI... Uh, player ID is going to be insane when the AI are controlling this guy he's going to be absolutely ridiculously hard to get past right he's going to be also very very uh, compact uh, to control right he doesn't have great dribbling so you will be just booting the ball when you get it but I would be using this guy as kind of like a battering ram right that's how I would use him um, and just kind of mopping up everything in center back just very aggressive and you can see his defensive stats there are insane 95 awareness no stat on in defense under 90 90 tackling 92 aggression 97 defensive engagement but what really sets this card apart lads is his physical contact of 81 and acceleration of 80 that is a ridiculously good balanced card i mean just look at the stats man ridiculously good if this card had interception i think it would be one of the best center backs in the game i would say top three but at this, I'd say he's definitely top 10. Um, obviously, his lack of height is a concern, but I would genuinely play him in a back three, and I would probably play him on either the right or left uh, center back, and then have really dominant kind of strong center back in the middle to anchor that. But we will get into that in a, in a, in a later video. We also have, as well as Cannavaro, we do have Inzaghi, one of my favorite players to use way back in eFootball 2022. He was a machine for me, scoring very important goals, unwavering form. He's got super sub, first time shot, one touch pass, long range curler, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, heading, and outside curler, right? So he has got everything you could possibly want in a striker, right? The first thing that you'll notice when you look at Inzaghi is that he's kind of slow. You're thinking, yeah, I mean, Inzaghi, you always probably would have thought of him as slow. But look when you train him up, lads, with those stats. I think this is potentially going to be an insane card, right? Because you've got 10 into shooting and dexterity. 
but which gives you 91 offensive awareness 90 finishing and 87 acceleration with 80 balance and 81 speed right so i don't know many other players in the game that have this be- this mix of player skills unwavering form play style as a goal poacher and 91 offensive awareness with 90 finishing and 87 acceleration and 80 balance getting that to 80 balance is going to mean that you can actually run and gun a little bit with Inzaghi. On top of that, you've got one touch pass and first time shot. So you've got so many options when the ball comes to you, you know, at your feet, whether you want to shoot first time or you want to bring other players into the game with one time, uh, one touch pass. You've also got acrobatic and long range as well as chip shot and long range uh, curl. So like, there's a lot to like about this card. I definitely think he's probably my favorite card in this apart from Cafu um or kind of arrow obviously and i will be doing a really good training guide on him because there's multiple ways to train in zaggy to get the best out of him depending on your play style but that is just something to keep an eye on we've also got a zamorano this guy is uh is a player that was kind of a little bit before my time as in i didn't really well obviously i knew about him but he wouldn't have been a player that um i would have watched a, a massive amount of he would have been coming towards the end of his career um he looks fairly good in game unwavering form heading long range shooting first time shot one touch pass so he kind of is in the same mold as in zaggy lads you've got the finishing you've got the offensive awareness um you've got a little bit of everything with this card but you don't have uh the acceleration as high as in zaggy's right but what you need to do with that is because you don't have that acceleration and balance you just need to be able to have him in as you know your target man your fox in the box right so while in zaggy was a goal poacher which means that he's going to be making runs off the defender's shoulder this guy Zamorano is just going to be sitting in the box in the six yard box as often as he can so you, you can sweat it across him and finish so that is something to keep in mind depending on your play style we've also got AC Milan's Ambrosini I mean this guy was a monster a machine could play anywhere in midfield very underrated player as well was kind of coming to the end of his uh his his career with this card I mean he had a couple of years left I know he played until he was a bit older on well way older but obviously AC Milan a lot of players played until they were older because they had such an amazing squad but this guy has got some very decent stats there's a lot of ways to train this guy up right but what you're going to be looking for with Ambrosini is his uh player skills right yeah unwavering form is great but this guy has got unbelievable play playing skills and attributes that you know have a potent mix right so heading long range shooting weighted pass low lofted pass blocker interception and sliding tackle as well as fighting spirit the only thing he doesn't have is one touch pass to make him you know complete dominant uh in the middle of the pitch and i think he kind of reminds me a little bit of goretzka here uh with the stats when you break them down this is the first ca- version of him as well so it will be a unique card to have that you will either come up against or you know your opponent will be coming up against so it will be kind of an, un- an unknown as to how good he's going to be if your opponent is coming up against him and you have him you pack him right excellent physical contact stamina lofted pass header and defense stats and then the speed and acceleration as an anchorman is not too bad i do think that tonali this week's player of the week tonali is way better than this guy even as a box to box and there are better anchormen out there but he is an interesting one if you are looking for something different and last but not least we have salas who is playing for lazio here um in the 99-0-0 season very good card as well i think the biggest thing about this card is it's pretty much identical to inzaghi you've got a fox in the box it's a slightly different play style but depending on how you train him up salas is one of the players that you'll either love or you'll hate right he goes to 94 overall but he's kind of i would say like a fake 94 he doesn't have 94 rated stats in my opinion right you can boost him up quite well you've got one touch pass first time shot long range shooting so as i said pretty much identical to inzaghi but I do think Inzaghi has got that better kind of like player ID. And especially the fact that Inzaghi is super sub, I think it swings it. But if you do pack him, right, you're not going to be dependent too much on his offensive awareness or his ball control or dribbling or anything like that. Similar to Inzaghi, he's got that acceleration and balance that are higher than most center forwards. Um, but this guy's a lot smaller. So he's not going to be getting onto the aerial balls as much as Inzaghi. Inzaghi seems to just be a magnet to the ball. Lads. He's, he's so good when I played with him, even the free version that they released on the eFootball point store. But this guy's got a good card as well. He's probably the weakest card of it. Like if I had to pick, I would say that 
guaranteed you know into your squad or into your reserves i would say Cannavaro, Cafu, depending on your play style and Inzaghi if you wanted a super sub and you don't have Haaland um i think would be must and then the other three boys are kind of iffy Ambrosini looks insane as well but there's a lot of solid dms out there that can play anchorman role for you and he is let down a small bit with just a couple of stats but that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon hope to see you guys in the chat later uh, for the live stream and tomorrow will be live streaming as well until then peace